Well, hello there. I've been looking all over for you because today, me and my assistant, my shoe chef, shoe chef, sous chef, John, are going to make this lovely homecoming garlic and herb roast chicken. So, what we're going to do is we are going to turn this from this into this. Hello everybody, it's me, the shoe chef, sous chef, whatever dad wants to call me. So today I'm gonna to be cooking this uh, homecoming garlic and herb roast chicken because I think dad's uh, easiest meal to cook is some pasta with a tin of beans thrown in. But don't let him hear me say that even though he's behind the camera giving us the death stare. I resemble that remark. <laughs> so it says here, quarter um, the potatoes and cut all but one of the carrots into wedges. There's the one I've missed. And throw them into bacon trays. Sprayed with low calorie spray. Slimmer's favorite this. So I'm gonna pop the taties in. And the carrots in. And what we're gonna do is roast these for 30 minutes until nice and soft. It says here, spray it with low calorie cooking spray. Where's our fry light over there? And then it says season. So what I'm gonna do is, although it's not in the recipe, shove a bit of paprika on it because you can't beat a bit of paprika on your dinner, especially on potatoes. So what I'll do, bit of salt. And a bit of paprika. Oh, a lot of paprika. Tastes amazing though. And what we're gonna do, is bang them in the oven for 30 minutes until nice and soft. And that's step one. Hello everybody and welcome back to step two. So, step two, spray a non-stick frying pan and put over a medium heat and cook the chicken. So we are putting it two to three minutes on each side. I've already got it ready and I've also pre-prepared a few next steps as well. So. My eyes don't water, but although they are, they are slightly going there. So it says, once the chicken's there, pat three quarters of the herb mix, which I've prepared. Um, and the they go on the chicken, pat them together. And then once the chicken's cooked for about 12 minutes, we're gonna put it in the oven with the veg for another 10 minutes to bake off. And then to bake off, hey, okay, like Mary Berry. And then we can finish the rest in a bit come back for step three welcome back step three time so brown the chicken off and it's now in the oven and that's in there for 10 minutes while the rest of the um, roasted veg cook so step three core and trim and finally slice the cabbage there he is right there peel and dice the onions and then reheat the chicken pan so I've got that here still with all the goodness in it um, spray with cooking spray add the cabbage two thirds of the onions, a pinch of the remaining herb mix, then we're gonna cook for six to eight minutes. Once that's done, we're gonna crumble in one stock cube and then pour in 200 ml of water and then simmer for about 15 minutes until it's all nice and soft. And we're back. Step three is just finished. So our um, cabbages are now in for a couple of minutes while they go nice and soft. So we're gonna step four now and make the gravy. So quarter the mushrooms and roughly dice the remaining carrot. I have that here. And spray it on stick saucepan with cooking spray. There we go. 
Um, then we need to add the carrot and the mushrooms and remaining onion and herb mix and cook for five minutes. Then we're going to add the tomato puree that came pre-packaged in the pack and cook for a further two minutes. Then we're going to slap in our stock cube, which also came in our pack, and then pour in our water. Then we're going to add, Dad, can you uh, say this word? Tamari soy sauce. Tamari soy sauce. Tomorrow soy sauce. Exactly. So, and then we're going to simmer all together. And then once that's all done in the pan, we're going to blitz it. Right, so step four is well underway. We've got all the ingredients for the gravy in there and we're just about ready to blitz once it's been brought to the boil. Now I did say it's quite unusual to see uh, tomato puree in gravy. So this will be an interesting uh, idea that I might have to try in other Slimming World recipes for my gravy. So that sounds very good. That's the best thing about these recipes. You can uh, learn lots of new cooking skills, especially if you're a beginner, because it's all very easy and written down here. But sadly, it's nearly coming to an end, the cooking section. We're about to step on to step five, step into step five, and simply trim the beans, bring the saucepan to the boil, and shove them in. Then the final step is serve the chicken with the potatoes, veg, and gravy. So we're nearly there. Beans in, blend this, serve up, and step six, have some good grub. It's all dished up and ready to eat. Absolutely wonderful. It's, it's been, been a pleasure, pleasure to bring Slimming World, World Kitchen into, into ours. ours. Dig in.